Hi everyone, uh, I just wanted to put forward some clarifications around my build video for, for this powder coating gun. Um, if the, this video was the, the first that you'd seen, um, you might be under the impression that all you needed was this gun, uh, a lead and uh, an air compressor and you're good to go. Uh, unfortunately that's not the case. The challenge with air compressors is that when they charge, um, they will charge at about uh, 90 plus psi, charge their tanks, uh, and that's just far too much uh, air uh, for powder coating. Um, that way it would just um, blow it past it and, and nothing would stick. Uh, so what you'll actually need is an is a air regulator. Um, you can use something like this to be able to dial down the air pressure to the 5, 10 psi range that you would need to be able to have it so that it can uh, create that that uh, uh, soft um, powder to, to cling to your workpiece. Um, now if you also live in a humid climate like I do here in uh, Brisbane, Australia, you're going to need uh, a water filter or a water trap. Uh, what this does here is, is that uh, when the air is compressed into your air compressor, uh, it's going to have moisture in it. So as it comes out of the, of the air compressor, it's, it's likely to condense back into water um, and if it gets down here into this uh, bottle with all your powder, you're just going to have like a, a slurry mess. There won't be heaps of it, but it will cause you problems. Uh, I picked up this particular inline uh, cheap filter for about $12, and it has a membrane in there so that it forces it uh, to become water and it's captured here before it moves back down through, to, through the hose there. Uh, so these are two components you'll need. So $12 for this, uh, I think I've got that for about $14. Now when it comes to air compressors, uh, this is my latest air compressor. It was one that I, I got from somebody uh, selling on the classifieds. Uh, it's a 17 CFM. I had to do some work like weld the tank, etc., uh, and pressure test it. Uh, and I'm, I've got this to be able to move into, into sandblasting. Uh, but the first air compressor I got was this one here. Uh, this is uh, one that I got off my father in law. I repaired it because it had a faulty reed in there. Uh, and it's got a 3 litre tank, which is actually in this handle here. Uh, and it's completely fine to be able to do um, powder coating with. Uh, it still charges up to 90 psi, so you will need the, the, the regulator there. Uh, it just cuts in and out a lot more. But when it comes to powder coating, you don't need lots of air, and, and it's down at that uh, low level, so you're not expelling large amounts. Um, so this is going to work completely fine. Um, and I have used it. Um, you might have one of those little disc, set, uh, disc uh, air compressors. Uh, they'll work completely fine. Um, so, have yourself, get yourself some air, um, a regulator, an inline filter, and you should be good to go. Thank you very much. Please like the video.